I handled it well. <laughs> All right, Get Garland. on done, yeah. Uh, Seton, you're going to like this one. I, did, I handled it quite well. So, up in Vermont this weekend and uh, at a little neighborhood party, I meet this gentleman named Chuck. Nice guy. Chuck. I meet this other gentleman named uh, Rich. And so they were about six weeks ago, they were taking some trees down. Chuck and Rich, they're on tour with uh, yeah, and, uh, Florida Georgia Line. One had the chainsaw. So Dan, these guys I know up in Vermont, I just met, they were had a, doing chainsaw on some trees about six weeks ago. And Chuck and Rich. And uh, the chainsaw got loose on Rich and jumped up and got Chuck in the rib cage and went Zzz! and and sliced him up. And he had to get like 12 staples and go to the hospital. And that's the uh, chainsawed shirt. They're still good friends. Yeah, I, no one died. He went to the hospital. He said Pol apologies, and they're back socializing. And uh, he, he got chainsawed in the ribs. Don't you think you know? Dan, let's say you and I were out cutting logs, and I accidentally chainsaw you to ribs. I think I would have to take some time off, and we'd have to separate just for a little bit. No, because I'd blame me for actually <laughs> doing it and trusting you. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, I would put the blame on myself, blame. not you. I knew better than to do that. Yeah, that kind like of I'm an idiot to think that you with one eye right. but let's say, could handle a chainsaw. Let's say <laughs> one neighbor accidentally chainsaws another neighbor. That one neighbor owes the other neighbor a lot of favors, right, going forward? I mean, it well it depends on if it's if it's truly an accident or the guy went, hey, this would be funny. <laughs> For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.